Hey guys, what's up? So today we're doing yet another uh, grade 9 question. So again, this is actually paper 1, so once again it's a non-calculator paper question. And it looks something like this. So we have a straight line here. So first of all, ABCD is a big old rectangle. AEB are on one line, where the equation is... Well, let's write it out one more time. X plus 2Y equals 12. And we also know that this line here is a straight line, so A and D are on a straight line, M. And we need to find an equation for M. It also tells us that A to E and E to B are the same. So the first thing we need to do is work out some stuff, right? Because we have absolutely no information at the moment, so we need to make sure that we actually get something. So with an equation of a straight line, what can we work out? Well, you can always work out the X and Y intercepts, which here are points E and B respectively. So the way we have to do that is to actually rearrange this equation first. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides, so minus x plus 12, because we want it in the form y equals mx plus c. So divide both sides by 2, and we get minus a half x plus 6. So for the x-intercept, we so actually no, do the uh, y-intercept first, so the coordinates for E, it's the y-intercept so what we're going to do is sub in x equals 0, because remember, all along the y-axis, x is equal to 0. And that gives me y is equal to minus a half times 0, so just 0, 6. So for e, the coordinates are 0 and 6. Then for point b, that is just the x-intercept, so we're going to sub in y equals 0. So that gives me 0 equals minus a half x plus 6. I'm going to move the minus a half x to the left hand side which gives me a half x equals 6 which means x equal to 12. So the coordinates there are 12 and 0. So now it's a good time to actually think about what's happening with this question. So we want to find an equation for this straight line here, m. So if we write m, right, that's going to have y equals mx plus c. Now, because it's a rectangle, I know that the line AEB is perpendicular to the line DM. So the gradient of it is going to be the negative reciprocal of the gradient here. So the gradient here is minus a half. So you flip it to make it 2, and then you change the sign to make it positive 2. So we have y is equal to 2x plus c. Now, how do I work out plus c? Well, I can either work out what the y-intercept is, but it looks like it's going to be off our actual axes, or I can just find another coordinate. Now, that lies on the line, and sub in that coordinate, and I can work out c. So the only coordinate that I believe I have any information about is a, because it intersects with my other line. So here's what I'm going to do, is if I look at a, we should remember that the distance A to E is the same as E to B. So to go from E to B, I've minus 12 from the X coordinate, right? Which means the X coordinate of A would minus another 12. Okay. With the Y coordinate, I've gone from 0 to 6. I've gone up by 6. I'm going to go up by another 6. Okay. So in other words, this triangle that I've made from A and E like this is the exact same as the triangle like this. Okay, it may not look it, but it is. So hopefully that makes sense. So I do have, sorry, it's not going to be 6, it's going to be 12. I meant it's going to add 6, which makes 12. Thank God I spotted that right away. So all I need to do now is sub that into this equation to work out what c is. So when x is equal to minus 12, y is equal to plus 12. So sub that in, I get 12 is equal to 2 times minus 12 plus c. That gives me 12 is equal to minus 24 plus c, which means c is equal to 36. So my final equation for m is y is equal to 2x plus 36. Now, does it make sense? Well, the line's going up, so it should be a positive gradient. 36, well, I know it's off the top of here, so yeah, I think that's a pretty reasonable thing. Now, if you notice, it's actually four marks. It's not that much work for four marks but it is pretty tricky to kind of realize. So again, my kind of general exam kind of approach is to always look at what I need and then work it out. So for a straight line here, I need to get the gradient and the y and another coordinate, right? Well, the gradient I can work out from just 
the equation of this line because they're perpendicular. It tells me it's a rectangle. That rectangle thing has to be useful. In this case, we used it to show that the lines are perpendicular. You can never assume it. You have to use information. So, and then from there, we can just kind of figure out what we can. Again, with this part here, a e is equal to eb. Again, we use that in order to work out the coordinates of a. So I hope that makes a little bit more sense, and I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful.